going back to the ERS system, is a tank we just converted over from the older style uh, DP where it had capillary tubes and you have to go in and look at the calibration of everything on the liquid. The, these ERS were so easy to install and set up. I actually, uh, putting the first one in, we overthought the process a little bit and I, I kind of had to go back to my, uh, my Rosemont technician and talk to him. He goes, oh no, this is, all you have to do is put the zero and the maximum numbers and we're done. It just, it seemed, it seemed too easy to me but uh, we really enjoyed setting up and I'm looking forward to using more of them. Honestly, right now, the way things are in business, we're always trying to save money. That's one of the biggest things. So uh, looking at the instrumentation, uh, things that are, are affordably priced, and yet then I have to not only look at the instrument, but also look at the installation time and the time it takes to calibrate, set up, maintain. And uh, those are the items I look at a lot. And that's what I'm excited about the newer products. It seems to me a lot of the things we've put in lately once I install them, we're finished, and they, they work for a long period of time, so, you know, it's a cost savings, a big benefit in the business. The ERS uh, pressure uh, transmitter that we installed, there was really a couple reasons. Again, the older models worked on a capillary tube, and it uh, depended on a lot of things, like the length of the tubes, the material that was in the tube, so there was a lot of items you had to take into consideration when setting them up to get the proper readings. And now the new ERS are, are all electronic. You basically mount them, you uh, wire between the two units, and you take the software package. Like I have the AMS software, I hook up with my laptop, I go in and I set my ranges, and I'm done. Uh, it, it's just uh, incredibly easy. Uh, you can come back and, and check later on. You can calibrate them uh, when you need to. It's just the, the setup is, is very, very simple. And at that, if you have to replace one, you can replace a single unit where the old ERS with the capillaries, you had to replace the entire unit. Uh, so if you do have a failure for some reason, that, that's very helpful. Um, also, in our industry, uh, quite often we change things. So if I buy an instrument that costs several thousand dollars and all of a sudden we change our process, I can take it off and I can mount it somewhere else and still utilize it. It doesn't go on the shelf and end up as an obsolete uh, item. Thank you.